Alright guys, uh, welcome to the vlog, and uh, so you're going to have some footage from Friday uh, tucked in here in the beginning, just because, uh, yeah, we didn't really get enough footage Friday that was uh, useful to make a full vlog out of it, so uh, here's Friday's footage. Guys, welcome back to the vlog, we are back, and you know what that means? Today, I just finished my last ambulance clinical, and uh, I'm headed over to go celebrate with Boda and Eskew and uh, Mikey and Alexis. Uh, sorry for the truck drone, guys. Got to warm the truck up. Uh, so, yeah, this means I'm just about done with my paramedic license. Uh, passed my clinicals the other day, or not my clinicals, my practicals the other day, and uh, yeah, we are just about done with it. So I'll show you the beast I've been riding around on. Been riding on that black beast right there. So I will catch you guys over at Mikey, or not Mikey and Alexis, it's over at Boda and SQ's in just a minute. Uh, and I do have the tripod, I just did not put it on my camera yet. So we'll get the tripod on and we'll get going guys. Alright guys, we're over here at Boda's, we're getting ready to go to a hibachi grill, which I have never eaten at before, so... Oh, it'll be so good! It's gonna be fun according to these two, it so... life changing. Life changing? Alcohol. Is it gonna be life changing? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm told it's gonna be life changing. We'll see what happens. It's uh, true. But he says it's true. It's gonna be fun. It really is. You'll want to go to one every single day. I honestly can't believe I've never been to one. Honestly. Can you? Do you really believe that? Do you really? I do. I do. Think it's about who it is. It's pretty popular. Is it? Is it revolutionary? It is. So yeah, uh, we're going to Hibachi. Never been there before. Told it's amazing. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm cheap, so it's hard for me to go spend money on food. But, but you're spending money on yourself. But I'm going to spend money on myself, so we'll see what happens. If I don't like it, I will be very disappointed, but I <laughs> highly doubt that's going to happen. So we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Look at this place, guys. Ye old uh, Japanese steakhouse. It's called Kobe. We're going to call it Kobe. They're back here calling it Kobe, but... I think that was you calling it's it Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> is it Kobe? Oh no, it's just me sure. calling it Kobe. Kobe. Let's be real Kobe. here. They're saying Kobe, I'm saying Kobe. You know what? Let's that be real like here. Sure. I am not very uh, hip on uh, other languages. Cultural differences? Uh, yeah, I'm not good on cultural differences. I mean, we live in literally the middle of America, so... It's true. It's, it's true. Yeah. We are pretty darn close to the center of the U.S. That's all I'm saying. So... We're gonna go enjoy the steakhouse. Uh, I don't know if I can bring you guys along. Mm, that's a good you question. You could. You could record it like the. I could. Now. Well, could you record the performance though, or would they get upset about that? Probably record some of it. Like, so look where we are. I mean, I don't, we might bring. I don't know if I would. We might bring you guys along. I might just record it on my phone, import it to my computer. My phone has the same quality as the camera, so I might just do that because it's easier to kind of. Damn. What? I would do that. Oh, okay. So that's probably what we're going to do because it's just easier that way. So. And Kobe, if you see this and it's a problem, we apologize. Yeah, so if you guys, anybody <laughs> that's watching this, I highly doubt it. It works at Kobe. Uh, I apologize if it's a problem for you. But, you know what? Hey. Leave a comment about how you feel. <laughs> and subscribe. You know, <laughs> might as well. Yeah, I'm really out of this vlogging thing, guys. I haven't done this forever. So. I know. It has been a while. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a long time. And you guys know that. So, so yeah, that was Friday's footage. And, uh... So on Friday, I did my last clinical on the ambulance, and uh, as you guys saw, and I'm all done with the ambulance clinicals. I gotta go back and do uh, about a couple hours at one of the women's and children's hospitals there in Columbia, and uh, have all my clinicals done, and hopefully get my written test, and still have my goal to get my license by the uh, by January. So we're gonna see what happens with that. So uh, right now, guys, I uh, just got done dropping off an uh, application for part-time uh, work up at Montgomery County Ambulance. So hopefully they'll uh, get a hold of me this week or so. And uh, let me know there. And uh, we're headed to go deliver some eggs. And then uh, head down to the Eagle Oggies catch up for a little bit down there. And probably hang out with Boda and SQ tonight. That's about it guys, so we'll, uh, we'll see where the day takes us, see if we got anything fun and interesting to, uh, to do or anything like that, but uh, for the most part that's going to be it today. So uh, sit back, watch, and enjoy. Alright guys, so I apologize for this vlog being horribly choppy and cut up into days. Uh, on the bright side, uh, tomorrow when this vlog goes up, which it'll be today for you guys watching it, 
Uh, it'll be Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Uh, I hope you guys have a blast. I have to work. Uh, so that's that's a perk. Or I wouldn't say a perk. That's a, uh, a, a bad part about my job is working on holidays. But, you know, it happens. Really can't complain too much because I get holiday pay for it. So uh, I really can't complain. And I got to drop off some eggs here. That's what I'm waiting for as a customer to come pick up some eggs. And... Uh, Alright guys, well I got that egg delivery done, and uh, so, I got a haircut today, which I was needing, and uh, getting to that point where I think I'm going to start cutting it once a month, just to try to keep it looking good and fresh, and uh, you know, stuff like that. It's nothing I've really ever done in my life, was keep my hair, you know, nice and short and stuff all the time, but I'm thinking it's going to be something I start doing now. So, uh, yeah, I went and delivered some eggs today, guys. Uh, this, uh... I'd say the past week and a half, two weeks with egg sales has been amazing. We haven't kept eggs on the table at all. So it's amazing. There have been like no eggs in the house. Uh, business has been great and I love it. If it, if it stays like this, uh, I'll be happy and uh, that means growth will come a lot quicker and sooner than uh, what I figured it was going to, but that doesn't bother me one bit, you know? If I've got customers beating down the door to get eggs, well, we'll just grow bigger and uh, you know, we'll, we'll work for that. It's no big deal. Uh, so I got Friendsgiving I gotta go do tonight. So, uh, or as you guys seen, this would've been last night. Uh, we'll get that done. Went and got feed today. So, what you guys don't know is the F-150 is broken. Uh, it broke down back in October, about the beginning of October. Uh, it shot a spark plug out of the head. I don't know if I'm going to have it up and running uh, anytime soon. You know, it's just uh, one of those things. The end plan for the F-150 is to make it a drag truck. Uh, just because I'm never selling that truck because it was my first truck. And uh, I want to do something fun with it. So it's going to be a street drag truck. Uh, it's going to be streetable, but we're also going to make it uh, fast at the drag strip. So shooting for uh, mid to low 11s is the goal because I don't want to put a roll cage in it. I think that's the cusp of roll cage area so we'll sit right around that area and I'd be plenty happy with that. So. But big things are coming in the next month, months to come. Uh, I passed my first uh, national test that I had to do for my paramedic license. Now all I have to do is get my written done and uh, still shooting for the goal of before the end of the year. So uh, we're going to try and get that done uh, before the end of the year, get the pay raise that comes with it, and uh, all the fun and exciting things that are coming after that. Uh, expansion, uh, hopefully building a house, hopefully getting a new truck. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, I really hope it's going to be good and exciting and uh, get to do a lot more stuff. Uh, that's going to be good for you guys and you, and you enjoy watching it. So that's where we're at right now. And uh, we're going to go drop this feed off. And uh, all the girls, all the goats, uh, look like I'm pretty sure every single one of them is pregnant that got bred. So I'll show you guys that when we get home. Uh, they're all looking like they're carrying more weight on that right side, which is where their womb is. So we'll see. Uh, the first time moms might only have one baby, but that's fine with me. Uh, as long as they have something. That's, that's what I'm looking for. And uh, it's looking like maybe uh, the money that comes off of selling these guys will uh, will pay for a buck because I really need to get a buck to keep at the house so uh, that's probably what's going to happen there and uh, yeah so I will do a breakdown one of these days on the uh, expenses of uh, owning breeding goats and uh, we'll look at the expenses the uh, profit margin that's there which telling you guys it's not very much but profit margin that's there and uh, all the all the work that really goes into it. I know you guys have seen some of it, but uh, all the cash flow side of it, I know you guys haven't seen and we'll go over that one of these days. So we'll uh, we'll catch you at home. We're going to go uh, continue driving home and uh, go ahead and get this feed put up and I'll show you the girls so you can see how well they're progressing. Feed's put up and uh, I'm getting ready to go get rid of all the feed bags here that it's time for them to go. and. Uh, let me show you what I just did. Didn't think about grabbing the camera. I gotta get back in this uh, swing of things with uh, vlogging because I keep forgetting to grab the camera when I'm doing crap. So, so the uh, I don't know if I showed you guys the hay feeder last year. You probably saw it in videos. Uh, so the hay feeder that I threw together in like uh, 
Oh, I think I threw it together in like an hour one night. Because this, all this here is just, uh, gets a muddy mess when it snows. And I gotta put more, uh, gotta put uh, more gravel in here when I get a chance. But right now, I can't. And I needed a hay feeder anyway, so I threw this together last year. In about an hour's time, uh, just out of some old lumber we had laying around, so. Uh, but I had to get it back, put back on the platform here. Uh, it had just come off the platform just from the goats moving around during the uh, the summer months. So, and the platform really belongs in the feedlot, but uh, I'm just going to leave it out here for right now. So I get more gravel, I really don't want to put it in here, so. Alright guys, happy uh, Thanksgiving today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish the vlog out. I'm at work today. Uh, Got to work today and tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. If you guys liked the vlog today, even though I know it was choppy and really messed up, but uh, <clears throat> if you liked the vlog delay today, drop a like down below and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at Hummer's Ghosts and Yokes. Thank you guys, and we'll catch you later.